Uh, for the first time, let me now unveil Xbox. Have you got a bunch of old Xbox games sitting at home collecting dust? Well, you might be sitting on a gold mine. In this video today, I'm gonna to take you through the top 10 most valuable Xbox original games. And to be honest with you guys, I was pretty shocked at the value of some of these titles. Now, I'm gonna be using eBay. I'm gonna be using the pre-owned search. So no brand new and sealed games or anything like that in this title. So if you're out video game hunting and you come across one of these games, you're gonna know that you've hit the jackpot. So grab out your collection, hit that subscribe button, and let's get retro rich. Coming in at number 10 is the iconic TV show Futurama. So this was developed by Unique Development Studios. Futurama is a 3D platformer and it throws you right into the wacky world of the future. You get to play as Fry, Layla, Bender, and even Dr. Zoidberg, each with their own unique moves and attacks. The game follows an original story written in collaboration with the show's creators, so you get that authentic Futurama humour alongside the platforming action. And you'll explore iconic locations from the series like Planet Express, the Bongo Bongo Sweat Factory, and even the sewers. The Futurama from Xbox might not be the most well-known game, but for fans of the show, it's a fun game to play. Plus, for collectors out there, finding a copy in good condition can be a challenge, making it a bit of a hidden gem. This game sells consistently on eBay for $120 in Australia, but in America, it seems to be even more rare with a valuation of $330 US dollars. Coming in at number nine, we're casting a spell back to 2003 with the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. This was one of my favorite games on the Xbox original when I was a kid. We were learning spells like Wingardium, Leviosa, Brewing Potions, Dueling Classmates, facing off against challenges expired by the book and the movie. Uh, the Xbox version though boasts some pretty unique features compared to the earlier releases. It offers improved graphics for its time, smoother character movement and even some Quidditch minigames to test your flying skills. Uh, plus for the completionists out there, there are some hidden secrets and birdie bots, ever flavoured beans uh, to collect throughout the game, adding a bit of touch of replayability. Uh, this is $130 on eBay right now in pre-owned condition in Australia. The US market though, not quite as much, you're looking at about $76. Coming in at number eight, we're venturing into the chilling world of Project Zero Two Crimson Butterfly. This 2004 survival horror is developed by Tecmo and you play as Mio and Mayu Amakura. They're twin sisters armed with the unique weapon of the Camera Obscura. This special camera captures the spirit's essence, weakening and even banishing them. The Xbox version titled Project Zero Two Crimson Butterfly Director's Cut has enhanced visuals, new gameplay modes, and even an exclusive ending. In Australia, this game is selling for $140, and while there isn't any sales history for those in America, uh, it is selling pretty consistently in the UK for around about 60 pounds. This next series is an absolute classic. Uh, when I was doing my research, I was expecting to see Silent Hill on there. Released in 2001, Silent Hill 2 is a haunting masterpiece developed by Team Silent. You play as James Sutherland, a man drawn to the foggy town of Silent Hill by a letter from his deceased wife. Uh, but Silent Hill isn't what it seems. The town twists and wraps around James's psyche, uh, manifesting his deepest fears and regrets into the form of grotesque monsters and disturbing environments. It's a pretty full-on uh, video game, really, when you think about it. But uh, it's a true classic. It's a survival horror game. Yet again, there's quite a few of them in this list. Uh, this one's selling for about $140 on eBay Australia, about 66 US on the American market. Coming in at number six is a game that I've actually never heard of. This is Jet Set Radio Feature. It was made in 2000. It's an action adventure gem developed by Smilebit. And it lets you join the GGs, a rebellious gang of inline skaters who fight for turf and express themselves through graffiti art. So the gameplay is all about speed, style and evading the Tokyo police force. It's got a really killer soundtrack with a mix of Japanese and Western artists that fit and match the game's energy. I really actually want to get my hands on this and give this one a bit of a go because it looks like a fun game and I used to love the skateboarding games. Um, so this one could be pretty similar. Uh, this game sells for about $140 and it is a pretty rare game. In the US as well, it's doing pretty well at around about $125 in pre-owned condition. The next game on our list is Atogi Myth of Demons. This was released back in 2002. It's another action adventure game set in Japan overrun by demonic forces. You play as Raiko, a disgraced former executioner with a mysterious past. Uh, it isn't just about intense combat, it's steeped in Japanese folklore and mythology, and the story explores themes of vengeance, redemption, and the blurred lines between man and monster. 
Apparently, it's a pretty tough game to play and master. I personally haven't played it myself, but it is a pretty rare Xbox game for the collectors out there. It's selling for 180 in Australia and 125 in the US. Coming in at number four is Godzilla Destroy All Monsters. This 2003 monster brawler lets you choose from a roster of 14 iconic Godzilla characters. You fight your way through a massive cityscapes like Tokyo, San Francisco, and even Monster Island. Solo gameplay is available, but you can also fight with up to four players, making this a pretty good game to play with friends. The Xbox version has some exclusive features as well, like an extra monster and new arenas that you can fight in. If you're a fan of the Godzilla franchise, you'll absolutely love this game, but if you're a rare video game hunter, well, this one will be one to add to the list. It sells on eBay in Australia for 190 and about 185 US dollars in the US. Well, we've made it to the podium finishes. Coming in at number three is the sequel to the demon slaying adventure of Atogi, Atogi 2 Immortal Warriors. This 2003 action game picks up where we first left off. Raikou, the resurrected warrior, faces a renewed demonic threat, but this time, he's not alone. Atogi 2 introduces a unique mechanic, six new playable characters. Each warrior samurai who sacrificed themselves to resurrect Raikou possesses distinct fighting styles and special abilities. If you find this game, you can expect to get about $200 for it in Australia and $220 for it in the US. Coming in at second spot is the 2005 release of Spike Out Battle Street. Now, this game is a wild successor to the arcade game Spike Out. It's all about chaotic street brawls where you pummel opponents and rack up high scores. Pick from 12 unique characters, each with their own fighting styles and special moves. Spike Out Battle Street might not be the most well-known Xbox title, but it is a hidden gem for those fans of the classic beat-em-ups. I think this game is so rare because it was released during the same year the Xbox 360 was released, so I'm guessing there were limited copies of this game for sale due to the popularity of the shiny new Xbox 360. For this game in Australia, you'll be likely to get and sell it for about $200, and if you find it in the US, you'll be able to get a little more, about $230 USD. Which now takes us to top spot. Taking us on a cruise down memory lane is Outrun 2006 Coast to Coast. This 2006 gem by Sumo Digital is the final physical release in the legendary Outrun series. It's a celebration of classic arcade racing with a modern twist. Pick your ride from a fleet of licensed Ferraris and blast down the stunning coastal highways across the US. But it's not just about speed. Outrun 2006 is also about style. Uh, you drift through the corners, impress your virtual girlfriend, with wild manoeuvres and rack up points for the perfect beachside ending. The Xbox version offers a unique mode called Coast to Coast. Here you'll be able to embark on a journey across the US, completing missions and challenges that test your driving skills and outrun spirit. Similar to Spike Out, I think this game would have likely been due to the limited number of copies released because of the dwindling Xbox original sales caused by the release of the 360. Uh, so if you find this game, you'll get another $200 for it in Australia, but a crazy $390 US SD in America. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit the subscribe button because I'm going to be doing more top 10s in the video game category. And if you missed this video right here, it was the top 10 rarest DVDs, which I highly recommend you guys go and check out.